Alrighty, new version here. Let's play this in full. There is no sound. I'll make the sounds there. Nice. All right. It's definitely long. What do we have here? 25 seconds. Okay, that's a long one. There are a couple areas that I think need a bit more. We're going to concentrate on him first and not the props just yet. Like this. If you go back here, the getting up. A couple of things here. To me, it feels like as he gets up, there's too much. It just feels like he gets... There's a string around his body and he gets pulled by the chest while being completely asleep. Because to me, it feels like this goes up while the head drags a lot. Like this, there's a lot of counter in the head as if he's being pulled or something is pushing him up from below. And then after that, it's a big linear key. Bam, going up and a really harsh linear stop. And it almost feels like leg and, uh, and uh, body go up at the same time. I know they're not. I know the leg goes later. Be fairly close on the stop, but if you watch this in real time, it's very close. They both stop in a, in a very harsh fashion, spacing wise. So I would loosen that up a bit, offset this a bit more. That's okay. I like all of this from here on. He goes, Hey, what? I think that works. Spacing too. And I like that you can still read the eyes. I think that all works well. Just for spacing, I will probably open this a bit sooner. It's a bit odd to still be in a fist in a way, to hold that and, and see this in this way. And that feels just a bit too even in terms of spacing. It feels a bit broken and a bit flat towards camera. So a little bit of a, some bembos, maybe a little bit of a, this feels a bit more like this as I will bend this a bit more, not like super noodly, but giving this a bit more of a shape that way. Then we have that, that's fine. Um, again, I'll talk about the props a bit later. They're just a bit rough and stiff at the moment. If when he goes up here, maybe a bit fast. Feels like this is good. This is just a bit fast. Like here, this, and from here to here, and then it gets better. It just feels. But it's not crazy. I would still slow it down a tiny bit, but it's not. It's not like a, a thing like this. It feels like, oh, that feels rough. Like, uh, that needs to get fixed. This gets more into the, yeah, I don't know. Bit of a preference thing. That feels okay. He goes back. Yeah. This, once you get back with this arm, it feels a bit simple and just moving that forearm up. And then we're just kind of bringing it down with a the compression there. And I think you can do something where you go down and out a bit more. Like, imagine there's this, there's this really big stretch now. Where, uh, it goes back and the arm goes out a bit. Uh, with a little bit of, well, it's a little bit in there in Y. I'm gonna say not not just in one axis, but maybe it's a bit more. But also facially, you can go into, like you're going from this pose to kind of the same, but just more asymmetrical. And this could be a moment of, ah, oh, ah, uh, I get out like, oh my head. Uh. So you have like an open mouth to a close. Just as this more contrast, I feel like we're always somewhat. Well, this feels very neutral. And then we're kind of stuck in that, mostly in that pose there. But I think it's good to be closed at the end so you can contrast this with an open here. And okay, the timing here gets up. Alarm clock. Bing, ah. That's okay. I think it works. It's a bit, it's a bit straight through there. It feels a bit IK. The orientation of that wrist is always kind of the same with that hand. Giving this a bit more of an arc and the forearm or that wrist a bit more aligned with the forearm. And I feel like this still stops a bit harshly here, this side. And then as he's stretching, he goes, huh? With a relaxing. To me, I would, like, this is almost like he is on his knees, foot like this, um, but then slightly off the ground, like as he's stretching. Ah! And then when he relaxes, that's when he would really sink uh, into into his, you know, the butt onto the feet to kind of like, oh, what's going on? So it feels like once you're here and you go into that, 
you want to see this line go down to here so you can feel like that root goes down. Right now, this line feels just like kind of stays there. Like if I'm drawing a line roughly, <laughs> horribly, uh, and then leave onion skinning, you can see how similar that is here. This one is not too bad. My only thought is that like, I'm really seeing the shapes. To me, I would go this big if it's faster. It's bigger, bigger deformation because we were here and then we hold. We hold in this really deformed and really stretched out here into that. I know, to me, it feels like we want to feel this more than seeing it, especially I wouldn't do this. I will keep the stretch within this lower section and especially with the jaw and puffing of cheeks, but this gets into water balloon head, especially again, because I can see it. If it was a really fast move that where it gets more like, eh, okay, I can see that will drag or some whatever it is, but I can really see that change there. Now, this might be subjective, but to me, it feels like he is so angry. This is making him mad. It would be to me a direct go at this arms go immediately they might even lead the whole thing where the body is back and the arms have already gripped this going Argh! and then you end up being here this to me feels a bit over animated where i gotta have this massive anticipation and then a really big arc to get there whereas he wants this to shut up so why spend more time to get there to me this would be just a direct action a to b subjectively of course that's kind of, I don't, that would be my, my preference there. That still works, so I like to shake here. <sighs> I think that's okay. Bam. It's almost like you want a couple more frames here. I hate to make that shot longer, but. <sighs> no, nah, actually it works. Maybe to me, it feels more like you would do this and then less of a linear key. Like this is a linear key right there. Out. Like it's basically you have a linear key to the left and then a fairly rough arc going up where it again, to me, it feels like he's done. And then it's more of a <sighs> like an inhale, exhale. But this is like this extra action with the rotation in the head. As much as I love complications where it's not just all in one axis. Especially at that speed and linear key, it gives us almost like another angry moment. Angry, angry versus angry. Okay, I'm done. Inhale, exhale. It's not too bad. This might have a little moment of hands going forward. Like, okay, okay. okay. Like a little bit of up and forward on both hands. So over there, watch out. This from a technical point of view, it gets a bit wonky. Because again, we have a very, if you track that nose, that nose, bam, that's a really flat arc and a very linear key in that change there. And it feels like, whoa, someone, like someone is, is sitting on this character. So okay, give this a little bit of a roundness. We have a nicer feel than this really flat, broken neck here. And at this point, everything feels like it's moving as one. So with the chest up to the head here, this whole section is kind of moving as one there. And keep this that stiff especially if you go down and up there's no separation like between these sections there that's okay i do like this though sure. <sighs> then i'm a bit confused like he goes back <sighs> okay so this goes off i didn't quite read that this is the next cringe moment of Again, this almost felt more like a oh, like with the blink going, okay, oh, let's go. Versus he's there trying to relax. It's almost like, to be honest, I would keep those eyes closed, subjectively, keep those eyes closed. And then when this is starting, do the opposite where you open them. So we realized he wakes up again going, huh? And then maybe you can close them again into that. Uh, I would just go into this faster. So it's kind of like a. Uh, uh, like it's another jolt in him going. Oh, I hate this. And then watch out again. Timing wise, you are. Let's go forward, 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 forward here. You have a little bit of like slower spacing. And then bam. If you track this here. You can see how this is really big move here. You can 
can see that. And then small again. This feels more like a pop. And we're getting into this. And then it feels just like he is out of control. Ugh. Versus there's something about he's again angry and, and tense. He goes, Argh. okay, let's stop this. Where I, I would just again go a bit more direct with just straight to this. Like from here, here. Yeah, actually this straight to that in a way. And then you can hold this. This just feels very even in timing. It feels a bit broken on that wrist. It gets very IK. Like that drop, even though there's a slight curve. There's just something feeling very IK in this. At least there's a little bit of shoulder moving through there. That's good. I think we can just exaggerate that timing a bit more. It goes up. Like I like that you're going this way with the forearm. And that means that the finger continues that forward turn into this. I think that's cool. I would just continue a little bit with that forearm going forward there this way. Screen left. Come back. Bring that forearm back a bit. And then I would hold this a bit longer and then just a bit faster. Frame or two out. Feels a bit slow. And then again spacing wise you have this head move over that comes to a very sudden stop. It's kind of like it's, it's an overall no for the whole thing where the ease ins and outs and just the spacing is just a bit wonky there. Same thing for this, like the reactions, the moves. But even though you have like bigger darty moves here, this gets very slow and spliny. Like this hand, down from here, down to here, you know. And then the rest, let me see, there's that exit. This is a bit big. I think there's so much here in terms of shape. It's okay sometimes to just exit everything for a big zip. But I think for this one, I would actually still have... Because you can go here and almost have another, like an extra drag and maybe just see uh, the arm and the hand here, maybe. For one more and still have like a one frame exit here. That just seems just a big... It almost seems like a pop. Also because we're cutting straight out there. But that's that's more on the on the minor side, and then after all of that, it just comes down to like prop animation like this. I, it's very even in timing. Like this would have to go pang, dum dum dum. Just a bit more physics in there. But at the same time, I think the body has has more issues there. So don't animate this just yet, uh, and concentrate on the body. All right, thanks. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.